All right, everyone, get your giggles out. Get your giggles out. Uh, stop laughing. We're about to have a very serious moment together. It's time to talk about the giggly goon clown, also known as Ryan Grant Passmore. When there is no, when there's no more room in hell, the goon clowns shall walk the earth. Uh, so let me give you a brief rundown of this. Um, actually, okay. Should we? Should I do a brief rundown of what the fuck I'm going to be talking about, or should I just uh, dump you all into the frying pan right away? I'll give you guys a chance. To respond, are you? Am I easing you in, or are we dumping you into the frying pan right away? Yes, please. You want to go right in? Okay. Please, just brief, very brief. Okay, we're going to the frying pan. Get ready. Here's 38 seconds of introduction to Goon Clown. I am a gross pedophile that can only get off to children. Children own me, and I need to devote my life to worshiping them. I don't like porn with adults. I need to come only to children for the rest of my life. So this guy, let me take off the red or it burns your eyes. Um, this guy is, uh, published like a shock video of him farting and masturbating. This video got shared around on some image boards. You may know the one I am choosing not to advertise it at this exact moment. Um, and the, the users of those image boards decided, what the fuck is this? Where did it come from? Well, let's find out. So they looked into it. They found out that it came from a pornographer named, uh, giggly goon clown. And uh, he actually posted on this image board to talk to the people there. Nothing happened. However, a month later, Giggly Goon Clown was hacked. And uh, his Discord DMs were leaked to the world. And uh, it is some of the most vile, depraved shit that you could ever possibly fucking imagine. Um, it is shit like this. And so much more. He is completely on the nose. He is a pedophile. He is attracted to children. And his sexual fetish is exposing young children to pornography so that they will start masturbating uh, at a young age, especially to his pornography. He openly admits in his Discord DMs that he knows children as young as 11 are watching him uh, and listening to shit like that. And he's talking to, in these DMs, not just any random goon clown enjoyer on Discord, um, but a transgender uh, pornographer who is very well known, um, known as uh, Ella Hollywood, or Jean Hella, Ella Hollywood. So this is a very, um, a very popular, like, T-girl porn star and what's really interesting about Jean Ella Hollywood is that um, they have met I'm pretty sure they met goon clown in person and uh, not only have they met goon clown in person um, they have met other people in person as well let's see I'm gonna make sure there's nothing not safe for work on this yeah I think that works So, uh, Ella Hollywood, the T girl porn star is the one with blonde hair in this picture. And he is standing next to, um, on his right in most of these where there's three of them. Oh, sorry. It's the one with the hat is Chris Tyson. Chris Tyson is the guy that recently transitioned in the Mr. Beast catalog. So the, the, the tranny, porn star who's talking to the goon clown pedophile in discord dms about how they want to get children masturbating to child pornography or to, to pornography and how they can only come to child pornography 
is standing directly next to Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast fame in public. Also standing next to him on the left, um, also in a hat. So I guess my description of black hat doesn't really distinguish them. The one that's more feminine looking is uh, also a very famous trans porn star named Finster. You have probably almost definitely heard of Finster before. Finster is uh, famous for his Omega trolling videos where he goes girl mode and then he breaks out his girl voice and it's uh, very convincing. And the people in Omega will freak out about, oh my God, you're, you're a tranny. I can't believe it. Uh, when he switches back to his Australian man voice. So this guy is very, very, very famous. He is a Minecraft YouTuber. He does Minecraft Let's Plays on Twitch TV and then also does OnlyFans where he fucks porn stars. I think it was in a video with Del Bella Delphine. That was a big thing because Bella Delphine fucked a, a, a tranny, basically. And meanwhile, while he's doing porn and fucking, uh, fucking around Bella Delphine and publishing this shit on his Twitter, he is on Twitch um, doing Minecraft Let's Plays with children and trolling on Omegle. So this guy knows... Uh, Ella Haywood, who is the Goon Clown's friend, where they talk about child pornography and gooning together, and has also apparently met Chris Tyson multiple times in real life. So literally, out of three trannies, they all somehow have a connection to that shit that you just heard. Almost, and not directly, I can't put Goon Clown in the stream with Finster, but I can put them in the DMs with Finster's friend, Ella Haywood, and they all are, him and Ella Haywood are both transgender porn stars who do OnlyFans shit. And then Chris Tyson just got into the game, so he's not doing his training porn yet. But uh, this is like an, a cottage industry of pedophiles um, that Twitch is involved with because they do their streams and then they do Minecraft Let's Plays and then they put their porn stuff on their Twitter, which is distinct from Amazon. And that's how the goon clown gets his child sacrifices, like the fucking clown from it. And just like that. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that incredible? Uh, let me check my notes, make sure I didn't miss anything. Because a Sprite header, who I am somewhat of a bully to, because I think that he's a little bit too friendly with some weirdos. Um... Ella Haywood, by the way, the blonde in this picture, has 300,000 Twitter... Oh, Ella Haywood is also a Twitch partner himself. Um, he has done stuff... He has actually worked directly with Finster. So this isn't just them meeting on the street. They're actually directly friends, as he says. Uh, Finster, as I mentioned, is the cross-dressing Minecraft streamer who is uh, in the same sphere as Dream. I don't know if that means that he's met up at Dreams or whatever. Uh, and they met up, they have, both of them have met up with Chris Tyson a couple times together. Uh, Mr. Beast is actually the most popular YouTube channel uh, on YouTube at the moment. So um, if he starts doing this too, that is literally the most exposure to tranny pedophile shit that you could ever possibly hope for. That is like the, you literally could not strike a better way of getting tranny pe porn to children than to have Mr. Beast uh, connected to it somehow. Um, and Ella's Ella's account, the the I say Ella, his name is Jean, but like Ella's account, there's no way you can consider this safe for work. Oh, he has a non safe for work version that is like porn. Okay, I got you. So he has like his safe for work account for like his direct. Twitch stuff, and then he also has his not safe work account where he shares porn. Okay, I got you. So there you go. Um, the goon clown, and I really don't. I I I thought about how I could read these chat logs. Um, and not implicate myself and its disgust, and I can't. I I I cannot, and I will not read anything that's written in this thread because it's it's so vile that I do not want to speak it. I'm I'm going full as. Speak no evil on this. Um, but you can find it easily. Well, if you go to the Kiwi Farms and you just go to the front page, there's a feature line that says, 
When there is no more room in hell, goon clowns shall walk the earth. Click that, and you can read this to your heart's content if you want. Uh, how about this, though? I will say this. Um, I don't know who Mr. Postcard is, but how about this? This is like a f like a fun, well designed. Um, it even has like a tag here, Tempura Works. This is a fun how-to guide on how to be a sexual predator. He even has the the peach or whatever actually has the map flag as like a the blouse. And it says, texting as a predator, keep family friendly. It's supposed to be fun. Study your victim very closely. Get him to know, get to know him and his favorite activities. Become their friend. It has good questions here. How old are you? Are you alone? Where are your parents? Ha ha, you are so funny. Ha ha, ha ha, you are so funny. I play video games too. Do you go to school? I like to go to this park for a walk with your dog. What about you? Happy face. Avoid incriminatory messages at all costs. Track him down. Arrange a coincidental meeting. The grooming process begins in person only. And then this is um, questions that you're not supposed to ask if you're a goon clown. And he says that this pick is so hot. And Mr. Postcard says it's really good grooming advice. Oh, Mr. Postcard also has a, a Discord heart emoji. That's the map flag. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> oh yeah, he even has the um the FBI uh pedophile thing on his on the shoulder. I didn't even notice that. So I I mean I don't know. I really every day I hate the more and more chat. I can't even hide it. I and I, I refuse to believe that there are good ones. Um because this shit is just out this shit is out in the open. This shit is partnered by Twitch. Both Finster and Ella Haywood are tranny porn stars partnered directly by Twitch who are in the DMs of the Goon Clown. Um, I'm going to just double check make sure that my notes are right. It says, okay, okay, the reason why the reason why people are confirming that it's Ella Haywood is because the account that the Goon Clown is talking to is named Toon Soda or something. And that is the account that um Ella Haywood uses um for not safe for work. And he, he the Giggly Clown is even posting pictures of the Toon Soda Ella Haywood porn account following him on, on Twitter and shit and how they're sharing messages and shit in uh Twitch DMs. It's pretty fucking vile chat. So there there you go. That's the goon clown. Yeah, you want to think that it's just hyperbole, but they're so on the nose about it, they don't even care. It's like with the Nick Fuentes people. They will just tell you that you're they're a pedophile, and um, you can't really do anything about it because the government doesn't care. The government's too busy shooting random boomers in Utah to, uh, to do anything. Oh, what the fuck? Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.